Hmm, what's going on? Okay, well, technical difficulties, but I think we've got there. It's saying rotate device, but I can't because it's in my mount. Not really sure what's going on. Hopefully everyone will find me. I'm very, very sorry. We had some technical difficulties this morning. Let me see if I can sort this camera thing out. Hold on. Now it's happy. Hi, Benita. Sorry, I have no idea what happened. It, um, yeah, it wouldn't let me start my own live. So I don't really know what happened. But we have got there. I've got really dodgy lighting going on. I'm right next to the window and we have very dodgy lighting and now I have to work in this tiny little space because it keeps telling me to rotate the camera. Oh, it's one of those days. Right, anyway, good morning. I hope everybody is okay. So I want to do a really quick card using 12 Days of Christmas. This launched yesterday, very excitingly, on Create and Craft. It is beginner's luck. I just, I don't understand. I couldn't find a button to say start the live. Um... I don't know if you saw the launch, but this was on Creating Craft yesterday. It's beautiful. It sold really well. Sold, I think it sold out. But it's going to be available on Craft Consortium and other retailers very soon. So I thought let's jump into a live and do some inspiration using it. Um, and I need no excuse whatsoever to use this because it's beautiful. So I'm going to do a heat embossed card today. So just forewarned, it might get noisy um, when I do pre-recorded videos I can mute heat embossing but when I'm doing lives obviously I can't so we're just gonna jump in I have got my Miri card from last week on standby because uh, it's just so beautiful but I thought let's try putting tartan with 12 days because tartan's really gorgeous as well so we're gonna make a card base first of all really quick and easy so this is just a piece of A4 cardstock um, which I am literally just going to fold in half. And I'm really sorry, the dogs are on one today. The puppy suddenly found his voice and he keeps barking at the other two to play. Oh. And then um, they bark back. So it's, it's all a bit noisy in my house at the moment. Okay, so that's the size of card... I made when I did the card, sample card and it's like an A5 card. I quite like this size at the moment. This is my preferred size. I'm just going to try rotating the camera and see if it still works. That's better. And I haven't got that dodgy message good. So um, A5, it's a nice size. I think it can probably still go as a small letter, but if it has to go as a large letter, that's not too expensive. Um, and it gives you an opportunity to use a lot of the stamps. So that's the card base stamp. I'll leave that over here. So I'm going to use the actual coordinating cardstock to heat emboss onto. Um, because it's just so beautiful. I love That's probably my favourite one. I really like that teal. Um, but I think for today's card... I'm going to use this kind of burgundy colour. Sorry about the dodgy light. I'm right next to the window. I don't know why I've got dodgy light. Try and push you back a bit. No, no, that really didn't help, did it? Okay, well, we'll just go with it. So we're going to use um, that one. Let's find a piece of the tartan to go as my mats and layers. So let's have a look. I want a bright piece, I think. I know, Benita, you've got tartan, haven't you? I'm sure I've seen you post makes using tartan. See, why I quite like that. That's quite nice with the greens. Right, okay, so have I got a scrap piece of that? Probably not. I've probably used all my scraps. So we we'll just grab that one out. That's going to look quite nice. Now we need to cut these to fit the base. So when I did this for my sample, I did use the gold mirror, I think, and it looked really nice. But don't you think that's going to look beautiful? 
So we are going to do that. Let's cut that down. And then we'll heat a boss straight onto this because it works really well. And um, we're going to use the stamp set that came in the collection. So first cut the tartan down. So I think we're going to cut tartan. If I can open my trimmer. Let's do this to about eight and an eighth, I think. We'll try and have a nice border going round. Look, that's eight, that's about an eighth. Oh, that's the score tool, that's the cut tool. And then by, let's have a look, let's say five, about five and seven eighths going to go. Go about there. My cut face gone. Let's try that. See how that looks. Maybe it needs to come down a little bit in width. Take that off. Maybe a five and three quarters. So my husband's taken my little girl to the library this morning, which is what's given me the time to do this really quickly. Take my opportunities when I can. But we may be joined by a four-year-old at some point. That's quite nice. Okay. So now we need to cut this down. So this one. Uh, let's go. Seven and seven eighths. So seven seven eighths is about there. See what that looks like. Okay, let's have a look. It's nice, it's not the biggest border. I think it will look nice on the card blank. Okay, yeah, we're gonna just go with that, I think, because this is just supposed to be nice and quick today. Okay, so let's grab the stamp set which I've buried under an explosion of papers. This is the stamp set, absolutely beautiful. You get loads on there and it's a really nice size as well. So just grab those out. See now this one in the middle, I think that would make a really nice engagement card um, centerpiece or a proposal card or, um, you know a celebration like that so i think that one you could use all year round same with the chicken really and the goose quite a few of these you could use all year round so i'm going to bring in my stamping platform and i'm going to get rid of my thing so i won't be stamping over the edges and then i'm just going to lay a few out on the cardstock so let's have a look I think we definitely want the trumpet. I will go in with my anti-static bag in a minute once I've laid them all out. Because we're going to heat emboss these. Let's go with the drum, that's cute. And then um, let's go with the Lords are leaping. Literally, not really any particular order, I'm just laying them out. I want them sort of in lines, but if they end up a bit off centre, that's fine. Put that one there. I will be putting something over the top of this as well, like sentiment. So, put that one down there. With this 
size you can get most of the stamps on as well which is quite good have them made maybe if you're just careful with your positioning I did find that I could get most of them on and as well as the main characters you've also got like can you see that one that's like a little uh, Snowflake is the word that I'm struggling to find and you've got the 12 day sentiment as well, which is really nice I need something a little bit smaller in there. Let's see. He might fit in there Just move these over a little bit Okay and then, let's see, I might just add some snowflakes in and around. Maybe if we move some of these over, we can get another one in. Let's see which one should we try for? Maybe a partridge. You've got to have a partridge in a pear tree, haven't you? See if we do some manoeuvring because I did manage to fit most of them on for my sample piece. Just takes a bit of positioning, that's all. A bit of shifting around till you're happy. Space them out a bit. Actually, I think that's quite quite nice as it is. Yeah, okay, we're not going to put... Oh, now I've lost the drum. Okay, we're not going to put the drum on. Okay. So now, let's close the lid down. Get them all picked up. See, this is my knee. I tried to do a different setup today. But the tripod I wanted was missing and I'm a little bit worried that you're going to be a little bit um, shaken around a bit because this table is not the most stable but I'll try not to shake you around too much let's just give this a wipe try and keep um, inking and stamping to a minimum and I'll give you a warning before we put the heat gun on so you can turn your volume down hi Bex sorry I did not see you I was concentrating how are you thank you for coming to join I'm also trying very hard this week not to be overexcited when people um, I recognize come because last week when I was Kind of re-watching and I think dawn came and I was very very like good morning uh, and it was quite deafening so <laughs> my apologies for last week if you got deafened um, it's all a learning curve this is only my what third live I'm gonna have to research how to start a live from a schedule because I tell you I was sweating it a bit there I was like I couldn't find a button it said it was waiting for me and I was like but I'm here you have bad sound anyway do you is that from my thing or is that the device you're watching on I hope it's not something I've done wrong those have stamped nicely I'm not going to go again for now Rub this off. Okay. Uh, let me just grab a coffee filter. So I have these, which are coffee filters that I was given when I was visiting America in 2018. And these are so great for catching embossing folders, um, embossing powders even. So let's have a look. I want a clear one. Where's my favourite clear one gone? Hold on, two, it's like there. Two, one and it's white. Mm. Oh, 
try and be organized and yeah i still can't find my blue. actually let's use this one so this has got a little bit of gold sparkle on it um i've got this in a stash years and years ago and i really really love it hubby watching in the same is he really <laughs> okay I'm going to just tip this over the top. So this is going to be clear, but it will have a tiny bit of gold sparkle. It's really, really pretty. As I said, I did get this in a D stash uh, from Danny Doodles a long time ago now. It's really pretty when it's done. See how great the um, coffee filter is for grabbing the excess. And then because it's got the ridges, it makes it so much easier to tip the excess back into the, um, into the pot. Look how pretty that is. A little bit where I don't want it, but I don't want to blow. Okay, so now we're going to tip this back in because it'd be just like me to heat set the wrong blooming thing. See, isn't that great? And look how pretty that is at the bottom as well <laughs> with the excess gold. So you can either then keep individual ones of these for individual embossing powders, or you can just bin them off. I do tend to re use mine because uh, I'm quite tight. Right, if you've got headphones in, you might want to turn your volume down because I'm going to do the heat embossing, so it's going to get a little bit loud for a minute. I'm really sorry. Just get the tool nice and hot before I start. Okay, that's really hot. So let's get embossing. I love heat embossing. It's just so magical when the powder melts. It's one of my favourite things to do, if I'm honest. I just thought it'd be fun to do a technique today instead of like a fun fold as well. And this is a really nice technique. And the heating button is only half the technique, so I'm sure you'll all know it when I start what's going on, but if it's new to you, let me know. I'm going to do like a resist technique and it's going to look really pretty when it's all done. Right, there we go. That's all melted, apart from that one little bit there. Anyway, I don't know if you can see that right now, but that's really pretty. Um, so, just wondering about adding a few little snowflakes in, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm going to use that, I'm just going to grab a acrylic block quickly. It's a bit of an overkill acrylic block, but it just sits in my hand nicely. <laughs> so I think this is the one we're going to use. 
I'm just going to add a few little snowflakes and then we'll heat and boss these. Just randomly dot them in a few of the holes. Doesn't need to be massively perfect. Snowflakes aren't perfect, are they? Okay, let's grab that little thing back and my embossing powder. And we'll just heat emboss those ones really quickly. And let me know, what are you doing with your Saturday today? Are you going to be crafting? Are you going out? You've got to do shopping. Have you had a good week? What have you been doing? Benita, did you get the... Um, oh, what was that? There was a collection just launched. Uh, moving panels or something. Did you get that one? I know you like... I know you like Sam's ones. Did you grab that one? How long does it take for them to get here as well? Does it take a long time or is it fairly quick? Okay. So, just going to really quickly heat and boss those. Just um, just a few little excesses. I'm just grabbing a paintbrush really quick. Just because it would annoy me. So I've got a few little bits from the um, acrylic block here. I just want to try and smush off because that would annoy me. Probably the recipient wouldn't notice, but. It would annoy me but it does kind of give it some movement it's not what not the look i was going for so just chipping it away a bit my handy trusty paintbrush i'm not going to be too precious about the excess that's coming off here Negligible, is that even what? Yeah, that's the word, isn't it? Okay, heat gun going back on. <gasps> they send your package, it's five hours away. That's dreadful. And you're going to a barbecue later. Oh, lovely. Have a lovely time. Right, that's done. I'm going to leave that to cool off for a minute because... I need that to be cool for the next bit. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to attach the tartan to my card base. So I've got this double-sided tape that we started using last week. If I am honest, I think this is probably best suited to like albums and things because it is so wide. I've been using it all week and it's been fine, but sometimes you just want a thinner tape. Especially if you're working on a really thin strip. So I have brought my red tape in as well. Because I'm at the end of the reel. Um, and it is thinner. I've also brought glue in somewhere. Just in case. But um, yeah. I think I'm going to have to go through my... I've just bought some tapes off Amazon actually. That I'm excited to try. And they were three different sizes. So sure they will be in a haul video at some point and then I'll let you know what I think of them. Just for today, I just thought I'd use this. 
nice and quick. And you can't get hold of them until Monday. Well, that's not very good. We are, touch wood, quite lucky with my couriers around here. But I have heard a lot of horror stories over the years about every. Why did Hermes rebrand to every? I mean, you can rebrand re as much as you want, but. If your company's got a bad reputation, a rebrand isn't going to solve that. Okay. Let's just get this straight onto the card. Forgot my little sharp tool today, didn't I? Hope you're not getting shaken around too much. See if I can get this straight, and I can't get over the top. I haven't taken the middle one off. Oh my goodness! I'm definitely having a morning of it today. I tell you. Gets to the point where you think I'm just gonna go for it now. Okay. One day I'll remember to put the bin next to me before I start these. <laughs> okay, that wasn't atrocious, I suppose. It's not great, but it's not horrendous. That's gonna sit over the top. Okay. But I might just trim off a little bit at the top there, just close to their heads, without getting their heads, hopefully. Okay, let's just take a little bit off here. Literally just the smallest little slither, but I just felt like it needed a little bit more off. Uh, it's a nicer border. Okay, so now what we're going to do is grab Distress Oxide, Black Soot and a brush. When I did my sample for this, I did use one of the reds in just normal Distress and it worked okay, but it still looked black, which is what I was trying to avoid on my original one. Um, so I just thought today we're just going to go with black soot. So apologies if you get shaken around now. I'll try and keep it to a minimum. So we're just going to literally go over the top of the um, cardstock. I'm just going to keep going in. I am so grateful to Dawn for sending me those original Distress Oxides. I'd never used Oxides before. She sent them to me in some happy mail. And I have to say, I am totally sold. I find them a lot easier to blend than I do the normal um, Distresses. I am loving them. I will definitely be investing in some more. You may have seen in a recent haul video I did, Craft Stash had them on. I don't know if it was three for two or there was a there was a good discount on them um some point in July I think it was and I bought a few um and again next time they do an offer like that I'll be getting some more because I need more colours now I'm just totally sold love them and the um cardstock I bought from Craft Stash the stamping card absolutely love that i use it every day pretty much at the moment um the inks blend really nicely on it it heat embosses nicely it stamps nicely um it was i think eight pounds for is it 30 sheets 
anyway I think it was really good value for money and I now I'm tempted to try their coloured card stock they've just launched I saw might be Sam did a what did I get and it was in that um yeah I I think I'm going to give their coloured card stock a go because it, if it's as nice as the stamping card it'll be nice to make cards with just um get something to hold this with so I don't get black soot on my fingers I'm really sorry if you're getting shaken around you like the stamping card too yeah it's really nice isn't it I've got three different ones so I want to um do a review of all three in one go um and just see how they hold up next to each other okay that's done with the black soot I love that these brushes came with these little plastic things it means don't get ink on my fingers when I'm done either just put that there and wipe this down because my card base is white and I don't want black ink all over my card base okay and now all I'm going to do is use this microfiber cloth and I'm going to buff over the top of each image and you'll see the red starts to come through and it's a really nice like resist technique some snowflakes maybe I should have done the snowflakes in white that would have probably made more sense but never mind I did them in clear and because I used the clear the red cardstock that I originally embossed on shows through and you can see this is if, if anyone's just joined this is the um, 12 days of Christmas card that comes as part of the collection it hasn't really warped I've heat embossed directly onto it and it hasn't really warped it's really nice cardstock I just want to try and hold it with part of the cloth and rub with the other part so I don't get black ink all over my hands so I think this is possibly called the Jacob's coat technique I might have that wrong I might be thinking of something else definitely a resist technique it's really fun really nice makes really nice cards you can see the images are really starting to pop through clearly you wouldn't want to use water because otherwise it's going to react with the black soot you could always do splatters or something that might look quite nice Okay, quite pretty. You can see the red. Um, okay, so now what I want is uh, this little book here. So, this is a little book I've got, it's, um, a folder, and it's where I keep die cuts that I, I either stash bust using my own stuff or that people send me, and I've got quite a few different um, Christmas sentiments in here that people have sent me in swaps and things and I thought we would try putting those over the top so I'm just going to grab a few and have a look at the postman walking up the road I might have to go and open the door because he's making a beeline for my house and my dogs will go absolutely berserk so i apologize yeah right i will be right back i've got to go and lift the door to a postman that's very kind right i'll do that later so i was looking for a sentiment so we've got the deck the halls but it might it's a bit too much isn't it i want something a bit subtle i think because the blacks really dulled everything down I might go over the top now I've got the red the black on there I might go over the top with some red and just see what happens you never know um what's this one 
what's this one say peace joy love that's nice isn't it oh and we've got a noel let it snow get like a drop shadow effect or um, I did use a die cut and a stamp the blue one yeah, I, I'm gonna keep looking <sighs> actually I've got right hmm or because that Miri card from last week's calling me I'll be honest so last time when I did my sample I used this this is a crafty potential die and stamp set and I die cut the merry out of Miri and also the cardstock and then stamped the Christmas so I think I might just do that for now uh, I'm just going to grab maybe a red and just see if we can go over the top and lighten it up a bit So let's go in with, let's go in with candied apple and just see, it might not work. The black might just absorb it all, but we can give it a go because why not? Sometimes craft's just about playing and seeing, isn't it? Oh, look at that. That's uh, going down really nicely, actually. Sorry, I know you're getting shaken around again. I just wanted to lighten it up a bit. I just felt like it was too dark. And sometimes I think the ink goes down onto ink nicer when it's got the base of the ink to grab to, if that makes sense. Maybe I'm just talking out of my bottom. I think that's starting to lighten up quite nicely. This candied apple is like really, really juicy. I've never re-inked it. It came super juicy. It's leaked so many times in my ink tin. I mean, you can see maybe how juicy it is. I think it is sort of working. I do think it is lightening it up a bit. As long as it doesn't go patchy. Oh, it's sometimes just nice to play and just be like, what happens if I do this? What happens if I do that? I don't think it's having any ill effects on the cardstock either, to be honest with you. And there's a lot of ink going down on this. And it's not coming apart, it's not falling apart, it's holding up to all the ink really well. Sorry for all the shaking around. <laughs> Sorry. 
I'm gonna get ink on my fingers again, aren't I? Oh dear, oh dear. Whoops. Okay. So, let's give that a wipe over. Looks like a massacre. Dawn, oh, hi Dawn! Oh, did you get the Winter Wonderland? Nice. Sorry, trying to read comments, trying to craft trying to, <laughs> to do everything and try not to shake you around too much i'm like holding the bottom of the table with my feet i mean that's given quite a nice effect it's given a kind of textured effect we can see the black behind i mean the light is shocking i, I apologize so much for the light i'm right next to the window but dodgy lighting but you can see the black behind but the red sitting over the top but it's kind of given like a really nice textured effect so that was a happy little accident wasn't it okay so now i need to cut the merry and stamp the christmas so let's just put this away before it leaks all over the table um i think it's gonna have to be the merry card isn't it we're gonna have to get the merry card out again what color shall we use choose a color let me know which one you'd like to use we've got the red the green the gold and the silver thanks bits that's kind looks like velvet yeah it did didn't it that's that's quite true gold or silver okay i was kind of doing silver gold maybe Right, we need someone to make a, a decider. We've got two votes for gold and two votes for silver. Only one else. Otherwise, we're just going to have to do any mini miny mo. Okay, gold and silver. So put the red and the green away. Maybe, maybe we'll try gold. Actually, look, that's quite interesting. Look at the different um, difference. So you put that next to the gold. It looks darker. You put it next to the silver. And it kind of looks lighter. So I'm thinking maybe we go silver. Just to help lighten it up a bit. Now, have I got any scrap in here? Or am I going to have to cut into a new piece? Hmm. Okay. I mean, that's not that's not a massively complete sheet, so we'll give that one a go. So I think we're going to cut the um, shadow from the silver. Which I'm going to do off camera because that would be far too much shaking and I think somebody would get ill, if I'm honest. So let me just pop that there. Oh, my tea, my tea. I did have a cup of tea. It's going a bit cold. Right, let's trim a bit of this off. We'll cut this down. And... Then we need to decide what colour we're going to cut the merry from as well. That won't be mirror card stock though. And that will just be regular. So we'll be using the 12 days again for that. Right, okay. Let's give this a cut. I will be right back to you. I'm just off to the side, really quickly. I'll be right back.
need to get the other tripod back off of my husband so that I can do um like lives without shaking you around <laughs> I've just cut that completely wrong I'm not really sure how I managed to do that let me give it another go Okay, so there is, can't even see, there's the Mary. And then, I'm gonna need some cardstock. Let me grab my 12 days back. It's buried. <sighs> I'm like stretch cross. There it is. Right now, see what scrappy bits we've got. Look at all this. That might be nice. Let's try that. Uh, okay. Just cut this out really quick. Won't be long. Won't be long. Gonna have to do some paper piecing. Oh dear. I do not remember paper piecing my sample. I must have made a mistake. Oh well, these things happen. I need a poker tool. Right, I can't see comments. Okay. So, these we're going to glue on here. That will look really pretty. Okay, so those are we're going to glue on there, and then put that back on the magnetic sheet before I lose it. And then we need to stamp the Christmas for like separate. So I'm going to stamp that on the same piece of coloured cardstock, I think. I've got some there. Where's that block? There we go. The mess next to me, honestly, it's indescribable. <laughs> Everything just gets discarded hurriedly when I'm doing these lives. And then I worry about it later. I start off really organised. I think I got totally thrown out when I couldn't work out how to start the scheduled live. Um, it just put me on the back foot and made me panic. And I was like, it's just thrown me off. And I've made some silly mistakes this morning that I feel very bad about. 
Um, I don't know, I'm just probably stressing about nothing. There you go, that's just me. Right, let's put that back in there. Move that acrylic block. Put the end on my pokey tool. You can't craft without a mess. That's true. You can't craft without a mess. Um, banner die, I think, for this. So I had everything kind of to hand. This is my die storage. It's a big zip up folder. Um, in fact, I think instead of putting it on a Maybe I'll do it on one of these. That might look nice. Last time I had it on like a flag type type thing, but I think I'm going to try it on this one today. Because I think that will look nice and that would be easy to put on foam pads, which I would like to do. And it just fits. I should have stepped it more in the middle, shouldn't I? Oh well. There's always tape on my mat i was trying to clean my glass mat before i started as well but then i was like well hold on a minute i'm sure everyone else their mats must be in exactly the same state i'm sure no one will be too worried you would be more worried if it was clean you'd be like what's wrong with you right let's just die cut this really quickly I'm loving these um these plates they don't show up the cracks as badly okay that's cut off the end that will annoy me I think I wonder if I've got room to do like one more and then just stamp straight onto the thing see today it's just not going well it is not going well but there you go I've probably got enough on that piece Oh, stressing today. Last week, absolutely loved last week. Last week was great. Today, <laughs> not going to plan at all. Best laid plans and all that though, eh? Plus, I think I'm very aware that I'm on a bit of a deadline with the husband and the daughter. And then when you try and rush, that's when things go wrong, isn't it? Right, that's nicer. Let me grab my stamp back out. I'm going to take that there so I can put it away later and not lose it. Oh, dear. Sorry, guys. This is not the best live, is it? But thank you for sticking around. Thank you for staying with me. <laughs> thank you for encouraging me. Right. I'm going to try this. But, I don't know, I might use that on something else. We'll leave that as it is. Put it in my little sentiment pot and hope for the best. These are critic blocks. I really like. There we go. I have those plates too. Got one. Yeah, I got mine on Amazon. Now oh, that's stuck. Okay, well, at least it's stamped okay. <laughs> Something's gone right. Hurrah. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so we are actually nearly done. So all we've got to do is stick the letters on, put that on foam pads, attach that to the base, and we're done. So let's see about 
attaching these letters. I need some glue. I might use a glue pen. See, this one's great. This um, is great. Oh, sorry, I've just kicked you. Oh my goodness. Right. I like this for little details. Um, because you've got the control nib, comes out easily. And then what I can do is just mop up the extra bits. See how it all came out. Because I'm stressing and I'm rushing. And I shouldn't. I'm not someone that finds tweezers easy to use or I would use tweezers to put these down but as now I'm just not a tweezer girl I struggle with them I need to practice with them is there anything as crafters you struggle to use is there anything you don't get on with I can't be the only one that can't use something. Just gonna mop the glue up. What is the favourite tool you've bought? Is there something you use all the time? Something you couldn't be without? There we go, right. Just stuck the M to me now. Oh my goodness. Should have just put a blob of glue on the scrap paper and dunked these in really, shouldn't I? But this glue pen's great. Ouch! What's ouch? What's ouch? What did I do? Oh, when I kicked you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I get lost on the chat because I can't always look at it as quick as you guys type in and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I did see a trick where somebody had like a piece of foam that they kept in a pot and they just filled it with um, glue and then they used to just dab on little things like this when they needed it. So you know like if you're the post office they used to have those um, foam pads and they'd tap the stamps on to wet them. It was like that. It was that kind of idea but for glue. I keep meaning to do it and then uh, forgetting. I don't know if this live will end up being uploaded to <laughs> YouTube because it's just not going well. It might be one that gets deleted afterwards and we just do a separate. Okay, there we go. So we've got the Merry, which can go across there. And then we've got the Christmas that can go down here. And then you can still see your images. So let's grab some foam pads. These I did buy, which is why I'm not too worried about using them. There. Where's my old yucky scissors? There they are. I'm quite particular about which scissors I use to cut adhesive and which I keep for cardstock because I don't want to gun cut my nice scissors. However, I do think I need some new scissors. I want some nice long bladed scissors. 
Maybe that's something I can ask for for Christmas. Put that one there. And then I think we're going to put this one on the foam pads as well, just because I can cut them down and make them work. And chop into these. You kick me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Bex, did you ever get I sent you Beach Life ages and ages ago as, as a prize for something. I can't even remember, but did it turn up okay? I think I sent you a 12 by 12 pad a long time ago now. I can't even remember when it was. It might even have been last year, maybe. But did it turn up? I should have waited until those were dry because I've just moved the art away. Oh, well, never mind. But that glue should dry quite clear anyway and I can always go over it with a glue eraser when it's dry if I need to I don't know about you guys but if I do a card and then I'm not happy with it it either sits in the box for ages and ages or it goes to someone who I maybe don't like that much <laughs> not that I don't like this card thought just sprung into my head right let's put this one here cute okay so I did have a good intention of using my little die cut book and then you know, ended up using what I'd done earlier Okay, this one I need to put on the front of the card. Just carefully look that over and grab the tape. How does everyone feel about midweek lives? Because I'm kind of thinking I could do them midweek Thursdays. Um, but I'm conscious people are working. Because I was thinking daytime when my little girl's at the nursery. So that I can be a bit more chilled. Probably not make so many mistakes. What do you think? Sounds good. Oh, that's good. Yes, Thursdays. Okay, we will look at... I'm not going to schedule it. I'm just going to put up a community post because <laughs> the schedule thing didn't go well today. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't start the live. I might have to... Um, I might have to ask my friend who has scheduled them in the past and successfully started them many, many a time. Like, what did you do? Where's the magic button to start a scheduled live? Honestly, I was pressing everything I could see and there was nothing to start the live. probably have to still go in and somehow delete that old link anyway everyone's found it so it's all good okay this one on here
and then I think to finish it off we are going to use my absolute favourite I love these you get 143 these are from the essential collection and they come in lots of different sizes I love these for embellishing little cards like this I think I'm going to use the big ones I normally go small but I think hey, we're going to go for a big one I'm just going to put some on again in the holes what's happened to that one maybe I left the glue dot behind okay and uh, one there. Oh no, it does stick to the ink, it's okay. You can do Thursday day job. Excellent. Okay, well let's um let's do a live on a Thursday daytime. I really want to try and do I just realised I've used gold pearls but silver mirror. But I don't have the silver ones. They do come in silver, but I don't have them. I don't think it looks it doesn't look horrendous. It's it's fine. Um, I really want to try and do a live combining some of the um, contemporary Christmas stuff that I've got from Hunky Dory that I didn't use up and maybe the little books and some of the other Christmas bits because I know it's now August but I need to make my own Christmas cards. I've spent months making cards for TV and samples and stuff and i've just realized i've got nothing for myself to send <laughs> so um i think we're gonna have to continue with christmas crafting a little bit unless you're all over it and then i can switch to something else but look at that isn't that cute i do think the red lightens up the card a lot and i'm really pleased with how the cardstock held up to so much ink because it's not like a it's not a watercolor card it's just a regular regular um cardstock a4 200 gsm so yeah really happy with how that held up but that's the card pretty hey so that's done so we will maybe try for a thursday then i will put up a community post and let you know when we're going to do that thank you very much for coming along today to my disaster live i think everything that could go wrong did go wrong today but thank you for staying thank you for sticking with me i hope you've enjoyed it um thanks for chatting sorry i couldn't keep up with all the chat sorry i kicked you <laughs> um and i hope you liked our little 12 days of christmas card so I will talk to you all soon, but um, I'm going to go make another cup of tea now. So thanks for being here and I'll see you soon. Bye.